Namaste. How's it going? For today, let me share with you a short drill you can practice after your asana. I do this myself. So this forms part of my finishing sequence. The principle being is that after traditional techniques, especially asana, it's inevitable that we will experience remaining blockages inside. And this simple drill now will help you you know, release those remaining stagnation. So what you will be needing is like a block or you know, something just to yeah, elevate your body so one leg is hanging loose. Yeah, so if you don't have the block, probably you can just step on like, for example, um, a chair, yeah, or maybe your, your stair, or maybe yeah, over the edge of, for example, your deck. Yeah, so um, what you're gonna do is just to balance your body and allow that free leg to dangle. And at the same time, you might sway yeah, the arms and the upper body up, and then just allow yeah, the weight of that side to fall while bringing the breath high. Oh, it feels good, this one. You may lightly step so you can lengthen the side body. Good, and then hang loose. Yeah, and then just change, yeah? Good. Dangle, yeah, swaying, coiling in and out. You may kick the leg higher while breathing. The body up. And then you might fall from side to side like that. You might lightly tap. You might lightly step on that foot. Good. And then release. And then maybe try two or three times per side. Good. And right away you will feel like the body is open. Yeah. Open in the sense that it's light. It's actually relaxing. You can lightly step in and out of the side. Yeah, swaying. Like that. Good. And one more this side. Breathing in. Yeah, so the principle is as you hang loose, breathe in. And then just exhale loosen. And then you will probably feel yeah, that the stretch originate not just from the hips. You will feel it really down yeah, the, the toes and even the tip of your toes and then running through yeah, the sole of the foot and all the way down to your ankle, up the knees. Yeah, either in the pingala, yeah, right and the left channel. Yeah, the way I feel either in the pingala is that, yeah, this from the practical perspective, it's like a tube, yeah, nadis, those two um, adjacent nadis, yeah, they're like tubes, yeah, starting from the toes, then I'm brushing right up here, and it, it's yeah, predominantly felt here, running through the side ribs internally, and the armpit and the shoulder, and the tongue yeah, plays a vital role as well in gaining access to the higher part of yeah, the ida and the pingala. This side of me is yeah, my more flexible, loose side. All right, you can flex that foot there. Hang loose. Yeah, you might lightly arch backwards as you hang that leg. And one more this side. All right. Good. And then you may do like stationary jog like this and then bouncing up and down and then some high knees. Ah. Beautiful, yeah, so try that. Now, not just during the asana practice, you can also practice that drill. If, for example, you're feeling heaviness, you know, blockages, lingering with the hips from prolonged seating or standing or walking or gardening, yeah? Or you can even do this before your pranayama and meditation. Good, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>